Okay. So I'm Shavana and it's cousin. And um, I just wanted to say that you know our family has no doubt had um half of it wiped out. And um, over time I mean, my dad died when I was young too and was similar and my family was similar to Brent and Love for Gwen. But we had to get used to death what really early when so much death happens. Um, you kind of have to adjust and change your view about it. And so I just want to encourage everybody to maybe focus on the, the old quote about the good die young. Um, the loss in our family I chose to look at as you know, we are here in this world to learn and to move on to something more peaceful. And and I believe that um, Brandon was on a mission to learn from the time that we were little and everybody was like, shut up, Brandon, quit talking, quit asking <laughs> questions. And he was like, why, 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 why? And I didn't have anything else to do. I don't have any brothers or sisters, so I'd sit and answer him. And you know, I spent a lot of time with him when we were little. And um, he learned and learned and learned and loved and loved and grew. And then he didn't have to endure this life anymore. He got to go. And I have to have that um, perspective about all of my family is that they were done with their journey here and they got to move on. And we grieve that they're not grieving um, so that's how I let it pass and let it go through. It's hard, grieving is hard because we still have to feel those things here. But we can remember that when your journey here is done, you don't have to be here anymore. You've loved and you've lived and you've moved on and you get to be somewhere else. So thank you Shirley for having us all together out here. Um, and I appreciate all of you, all my family, my cousins that are like my brothers and sisters. And I love you, Gwen. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Hand it to Corey. Hey, everybody. My name's Corey. I was Brandon's roommate. He lived with me every day. Every day he came home, I came home. He was drinking a Coors. He loved it. He was a beer drinker. But I want to tell you a story about the first time I had met him. I was at r and Tree Service, and we were separate crew leaders, so we didn't get to work with each other that much. One day, we were on the same, on the same crew, and we got a big job. But most importantly, it was two big trees. So I climbed one. I got it done. I came down, and I said, you got this? And he said, no problem. He jumped up there, he got the tree done, he got down, we high-fived, we were best friends ever since. <laughs> he was my best friend. I love him to death, I miss him. And most importantly, he was a father figure to my daughter here. He was there when she was born, he was there the whole time. And he probably got something to say. You wanna say something? He was always super kind. I love him so, so much. Brandon yeah. <laughs> was also one of my best friends. One of the main reasons that I got into the love the tree so much. He's actually the person that got me my way if it's not. got it. We've had, we've had a lot of adventures together. Some good, some bad. But we were always there for each other. He's been there for my daughter, like Corey's daughter since they were born. He's been there as an uncle. That's one of the best role models and people I wish I could even be great like. But he's a fucking star. He's a star like him. It's going to be really fucking hard to follow in those footsteps. And 
I have millions of stories I can tell, but I'm not. I'm not just going to tell them. But I just miss him so much. And he was one of the best people I'll ever know in my life. And thank you guys all for being here for me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jackson, and uh, most of the times I remember Brandon is when we're all sitting in the car going fishing, and we're just all laughing together, <coughs> cracking jokes. Most of the times I go to my dad's house, I just see him there. <laughs> and I miss him to death. He was an amazing person, and I also thought his job was really cool. <laughs> Just going up on trees, going up so high. Um, that would scare me to death if I just looked down or anything. He was an amazing person. I miss him. <laughs> stepbrother but that wasn't his title he was always a brother and he kind of took that role and just owned it uh, very young uh, to tag off Winnie I have seen your dad Matt you <laughs> heard this story <laughs> the only time I see Brandon Matt is we are driving up to Detroit and Brandon's a little piece of crap 1988 like Honda so Civics with a lot of shit <laughs> And Gwen is either withdrawing from milk and is only allowed to use her water at this point. <laughs> and so Brandon gives her a bottle and she gets so pissed that she punches the inside of the bottle <laughs> and is spraying Brandon and I. So Brandon's doing 80 of Highway 22. <laughs> so we get pulled over naturally. And Brandon is all flustered and Gwen's back there screaming and squirting us with juice or water or whatever it was. And, <clears throat> but now, Thinking back about that now, I mean, Brandon, I, every time we talked about it, Brandon's laughing his ass off. But I guess the the hardest the hardest thing, I guess, for, for all of us who grew up out here, Alex, Andrew, Ryan, is that especially out here in the farm, Brandon is everywhere out here. Like, I, we all used to pee under that tree. <laughs> that was a pee tree. You know, Brandon taught us how to ride dirt bikes and jump that hill over there. You know. Brandon taught us that it was cool to throw apples at the cows when they used to be out here. So, uh, It's one of those things that once Brandon left, it was kind of, it was hard for a lot of us. Um, I know, especially for me, because I pictured me Andrew and Brandon trying to decide what uh, nursing home we were going to put mom and Ned into. <laughs> so there's always that. So he'll still have a decision. So Brandon somehow will figure out which home we're going to put him into. So. <laughs> but thanks for everyone coming out. It just shows how well Brandon was loved and how you know, he'll be missed. So. <laughs> 